So, uh, Commissioner Teresa, one of the things we do is that we regularly survey tax directors around the world to understand what's top of mind to them. And in our recent survey of EMA tax directors, tax controversy was one of the things that's top of their mind. And so I thought I might ask both of you your perspectives on this. Kamesh, from an Indian perspective, are EMA CTOs thinking about this right when they list controversy as one of their key issues? Sure, absolutely, Rodney. What's happened in the last year is that our direct tax collections have significantly fallen down. They're picking up this year because uh, India Inc. has a better focus on profits and the pace of vaccination has also picked up this year. So, but the controversy has definitely picked up because the tax office right now is short of revenues and they're trying to pull it up from all major sources. That's one. And the pace of data collection, that is the sharing of information between um, the direct tax and the indirect tax departments has actually quickened up. And a lot of focus on IT that is coming on, well, information being shared across departments, across jurisdictions. India is also uh, continuously, you know, engaging in agreements with foreign countries and getting information on transactions that are happening, which they're picking up um, to use for litigation. So, you know, in to summarize, litigation is a major factor in the minds of um, the tax directors and tax heads of organization and it has definitely picked up during the last few years due to focus on revenues and increase uh, that has happened due to COVID. So that's interesting, Kamesh. You talked about more sharing of information between the indirect tax units and the direct tax units at the tax authority. Are you seeing that um, be apparent in tax audits today that there's more sharing of information and thus the tax authority is is better educated about what's going on? Sure, absolutely. In fact, um, we didn't have a unified portal which sort of captured all the data before, but last few years, a lot of work has gone in on that portal um, and a lot of data that is being captured for the purpose of the new GST law is being passed on to the direct tax authorities and they're using it to actually question the taxpayer right now to see hmm. how they can deepen the tax audit process. That's really interesting. So a fascinating example of you know the use of technology and more data sharing leading to higher quality exams. And Teresa, right. I'm, I'm curious how that compares or contrasts with the Spanish situation. What are you seeing in Spain? Well, I mean, some of the things that uh, Kamesh men mentioned do apply to Spain too. I mean, these are increasing in uh, tax audits. Uh, it's a fact, I guess. Uh, it's for the same reason. And I don't think that they that only applies to uh, India or Spain. I mean, the fact that tax authorities uh, require more uh, revenues and, and a big uh, part of those revenues come from uh, tax collection, that's a fact uh, in the different countries. So that's that's uh, quite a significant issue. We have seen an increase in, 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 in tax audits. And uh, that's uh, quite interesting because in the, in the case of uh, the, the, the Spanish standpoint, basically, what we have seen is that uh, there is like this general audit that they might uh, ask questions about uh, VAT, uh, corporate income tax, uh, also uh, transfer pricing. Transfer pricing audits are also increasing significantly in most of the cases as part of a general corporate income tax uh, audit. And then the other thing that we are also seeing is that uh, exchange of information or the fact that tax authorities are gathering more and more information online. So basically, uh, if not as of today, but in the near future, they will have the ability to double check uh, internally the different sources of information that, that they have. And then the other thing is that, and is a consequence of these uh, tax audits, is that the uh, mutual agreement procedures are uh, also increasing significantly. I mean, it's a, there is a direct relationship between the uh, these uh, tax audits and uh, any other sort of like a dispute resolution uh, mechanism. So that's really interesting, Teresa. You mentioned something that Kamesh also mentioned, so I might come back to it. That's the sharing of information across borders. Are you starting to see more of that? occur in practice at the tax authority level, that is obtaining information from tax authorities, 
outside of Spain to help conduct the Spanish tax audit? Not, not necessarily. I mean, without. Uh, I mean, going through the uh, the regular procedure for the uh, exchange of information. But something that we have have seen is that in the case of Europe, as part of, of these uh, the DAC six uh, directive, we mm -hmm. know that there are there is information that uh, I mean somewhat is being uh, exchanged throughout uh, tax authorities. Interesting. So that's interesting. Um, the reference back to DAC six and the exchange of information within Europe. So I'm guessing then that it is, you know, it's, it's a reasonable position for EMA heads of tax to be concerned about tax controversy, in at least as it relates to both of your countries. Agree. Right. Okay, well, look, just, just fascinating insights on the technology, sharing of information and cross-border dimensions. So, Commission Fraser, I'd like to thank you for your time today. Just fascinating discussion.